It's Russell again with Arkansas Drone Solutions. I'd like to talk a little bit about the new Phantom 4 multi-spectral unit that I just got in a few days ago. Uh, it's based on the Phantom 4 platform. It does have the RTK unit on top with a sunlight sensor. Everything else is pretty much the same as far as the object avoidance. Of course, the new multi-spectral camera has six lenses on it and it's a pretty impressive looking unit. I did a flight yesterday of a 32 acre field and uh, well, if I bring it back up you can see that on the map I did use drone deploy to process the map uh, it left out in several of the pictures because drone deploy at this time doesn't have support for the multi-spectral unit I do have Terra I uploaded the information in Terra but at this time I don't have the activation code for the free year that comes with the Phantom 4 multi-spectral, so I'm still waiting on it. I did use the Ground Station Pro that came with, and I can get it back up, of course it just closed on me, that came with the app, or came with the unit. So I did plan the fields in uh, Ground Station Pro. It flew it just fine, no problem at all. I followed, there were some videos out from DJI that showed how to set it up and get ready for the flight. I followed those and it worked fine. It does take a tremendous amount of pictures. I believe on this 32 acres, it took over 1,750 pictures. So, I mean, it's chi 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 it's knocking those pictures out. Uh, it flew it. On this mission, I flew it about 375 feet. I think the default is a lot less to get better uh, pictures of closer to the ground. But I just want to make sure on the first flight that I got everything covered and just see how it would fly. So, so far, so good. I will update when I get more information about Terra and activation code and, and my experiences. And again, I'm Russell with Arkansas Drone Solutions. If you need one of these units, give me a call. Appreciate it.